Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the books. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah, <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. All right now, Maddie Bob, you already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But this year, we taking it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl, guess. Huh, you couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pastor. Ha, 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 ha. Thaddeus Matthews will be my guest judge. July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qs vacations.com that's www.qscvacations.com and honey listen don't meet me there bitch beat me there I love you see you in Mexico girl come on here pastor let's get down to business the views and opinions expressed on this program is just that views and opinions don't take any of it serious but I will warn you viewer discretion is advised Live from the basement of a marvelous gentleman, it's the Queen's Supreme Court. Hey guys, tonight's program is sponsored by www.adamandeve.com. That's adamandeve.com. When you visit adamandeve.com, use my code Madison, that's M A D I S O N, where you're going to receive 50% off one item plus free shipping and handling. Now, some restrictions may apply, and 20% of the sale goes to fighting HIV and AIDS around the world. AdamandEve.com offers 24-7 customer support. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed, or you get 90 days to return your item without any hassle fee. This offer is also valid at AdamMail.com and Eve'sToy.com. So what are you waiting for? Honey, get out there and get you some fun in the bedroom. 24-hour customer support, 100% satisfaction guarantee, 90-day, no hassle return, 24-hour customer support. Use code Madison Child and get over there and spice up your life with Adam and Eve. I love you. Bye. What's up, everybody? Hold on. Get that echo out of this motherfucker. We We ready. All right, what's up, everybody? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Queen Supreme Court, and bitch, it ain't court unless a titty bounce. Okay, hold on, wait. Let me see if we could, let me, you that, wait. You don't feel that in your spirit? No. Wait, I, wait a minute, I gotta kick, I gotta slide back, cause I, I feel this in my spirit. My feet, my feet ain't swollen up. 
Girl, you got cream on your feet. I got cream on my feet tonight, Crab! <laughs> cream on my feet! Thank you, girl. I promise you. <laughs> girl, I told you, put them hoes out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the bitch that y'all have asked to bring back to the bench, put y'all hands together for none other than the bitchy bitch herself, <laughs> Miss Sophia. Yeah. Hey everybody. Girl. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> now they love us, girl. Uh -huh. So we should just end the show right here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Before you fuck up. Right. Oh, I don't fuck up, girl. Girl, I just want everybody to know that uh. I am I know y'all been on my hair. Everybody, oh, that is pretty. Where you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> you, What's funny? You talking about this? This hair. Everybody been saying, girl, that is pretty. Where did you get that from? <laughs> Where I, did you get that from? Unique boutique. <laughs> <laughs> they said you had just came through, got all the long straight hair. So I said, but just give me that piece. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'm going to rock that for Black History Month. Well, please, ladies and gentlemen, do not get Unique Boutique confused with Youth Beauty Boutique <laughs> that provided me with this beautiful custom unit. See, girl, there you go, change. And you used to be over there, Unique Boutique. <laughs> you got your new little courtroom and shit. You ain't invited me out here. You got your new shit. You thought I was going to come out here and mess it up, but I'm going to be cool. Oh, so it's a fly in here. Why yeah, you... I feel that bitch is trying to give us the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get that bitch out of here. <laughs> You know that's how they say it's transferred. From flies. Through big, big old flies. <laughs> that ain't no regular fly. That's a horse fly. That's a big old fly. That motherfucking fly came from Africa. That came in <laughs> with you. <laughs> bitch, oh, I'm sorry, Mo. Bitch. I'm sorry, Mo. We ain't trying to do that to the motherland. Nah, but when you say that big old fly came from Africa, you pointed at me. You talking about me or the fly? I mean Africa. <laughs> um, you talking about me or that fly? No, so you, listen, you, you calling right. me a fly? No, I'm just saying you represent okay, the motherland. Okay, okay, like, all no, right. Oh. Don't come on now. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. You, been, you, you think you the only muddy in the house? Oh, no, but I'm going to be the only one that leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Girl, I miss you. How you been doing, nigga? Listen, Chris. <laughs> 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 Calm down. <laughs> yeah, I have, you know, girl, I haven't been here in a while. Everybody thought we had fell out, girl. girl. They said, girl, you and Maddie must have fell out. You ain't been over there in a while. I'm like, calm down. Right, calm that down. was your tone. No, because when she called me, I already have some book. I go out of town. Yeah, I go out of town, too. Mm -hmm. I know y'all keep You go out of town Maddie. dressed like that? No, I dress, I dress like a, a senator. 
Oh. And then when I get out of town, I put this on. Okay, so right now, you are you giving me Michelle or Barack? Which but which Obama are you giving right now? Right now, I'm giving you Harriet Tubman. <laughs> it's Black History Month. I keep telling y'all. That's why we're in a predicament we're in now, because y'all don't remember your history. <laughs> Well, I ain't black. I'm African American. You's a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that Joe. We don't do that. I mean, Miss Sophia, we don't really carry on like that over here. Like what? Y'all don't carry on like that over there? Well, over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there's no need for us to wait around for the situation. Let's take this shit to court. Boom. Girl, you see how fast we moved? Yes, girl. Bitch, we didn't even blink hard, and we went to court. Oh, yes, God girl. Today. You got some. Ooh, that, I'm telling you, I told you. That's, that was Mo. Mo did that? Yes. No, actually, that was Vincent, who you who you petitioned to be fired, and he's gone. He's not gone. But Craig is still here. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting on my docket. <laughs> Well, speaking of Black History Month, the Oscars are tonight. The Oscars are so white, we are not giving them no kind of love. So let's move on. Uh, honey, next case, right <laughs> Speaking of them not, speaking of them not giving any love, first up on the court ledger we have tonight is uh, <clears throat> Gail <laughs> Lion King Scar Winters <laughs> and <Yeah>. Snoopalificus. <laughs> Miss Gail King is getting screwed on social media after bringing up Kobe Bryant's 2003 sexual assault charge that was dismissed. Mm-hmm. Gail spoke with the WNBA legend Lisa Leslie on CBS this morning in an interview that aired this week and said Bryant's legacy is complicated. Can we roll footage from that interview and then we'll die? Uh-uh, we'll... No, you know we can't run the interview. That's mm-hmm. copyright. But I have her apology. Oh, you have her apology. Right. We oh. Can't, you know, we can't Oh well, Craig. I'm so glad that you're working, look, looking out for this for the company. <laughs> you're turning to such a team player. Uh, <laughs> on give, air, <laughs> y'all give Craig a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Craig. Yeah. Fire Craig. Usually, <laughs> usually he'd run the video right in, and we get a copyright strike. <laughs> usually he get everything prepared before the show, but when we call him air, he's going to be act like he's the runner. <laughs> everything he's supposed to do before the show, he doesn't do it. Fire Craig, rehire Vincent. Welcome aboard, Mo. <laughs> Security, there's a wild beast sitting next to you. <laughs> I'm gonna need three tranquilizer guns to take this motherfucker down. You're a guest here, honey. Don't you dare give Craig too much. I'm the only bitch in here that does. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you got me. <laughs> Go away, even on. <laughs> All right, so let's run Gail's apology, and then we're going to run a couple of clips, and then we're going to deliberate as judges over this. Let's okay. go. I've been up reading the comments about the interview I did with Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. And I know that if I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me, too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, My network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context, and when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. I didn't even know anything about it. I started getting calls. What the hell are you doing? Why did you say this? What is happening? I did not know what people are talking about. So I've been told, or I've been advised, to say nothing. Just let it go. People will drag you. People will troll you. It'll be over in a couple of days. But that's not good enough for me because I really want people to understand what happened here and and how I'm feeling about it. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide ranging interview, talked about many things his career, his passion, his sense of humor, the way he was mentoring other people, how he was starting his next chapter, it was wide ranging. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought. 
where that should stand. And I thought she, it was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. During the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. And at the end, when she said, it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Okay, so we just heard a crock of shit from Gail King. <laughs> and, um, you know, the people didn't want to hear none of that bullshit that she was talking about. There was somebody, uh, as I was scrolling through, looking at all the responses from the situation, uh, someone on, uh, I think this is Instagram? Oh, this is YouTube, named Miss Lisa underscore N underscore Cali. She said, that woman who accused Kobe of rape had DNA from four different males inside of her. Oh, damn. Four. I what makes it so bad? Oprah tried it with Russell Simmons by promoting that documentary with his accusers. Mind you, Russell hasn't been arrested, tried, and convicted of anything. She ready to mess up this man's brand, business, and opportunities over accusations. Preach. Oprah did it about a year ago with that Michael Jackson doc. Again, questionable accusations. Michael is dead and can't defend himself. Now, the part that got me was that the woman that was accused uh, Kobe of rape had four different strands of DNA, uh, male DNA inside of her. You're a male. How many you, <laughs> How many strands of DNA do you have inside you? At any given time. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Let me tell y'all right now. Y'all keep laughing at these two niggas. <laughs> y'all gonna be crying over their casting. <laughs> I done told these niggas to back up off me and leave me the hell alone. Now just try me one more time. <laughs> try me one more time, nigga. All right, sir. One more time. Nigga. All right, all right, okay. Yes, sir. Now what was your question again? How many, uh, how many strands of DNA, uh, being that you're a male, that is inside of you? <laughs> no, I don't have nothing. But seriously, okay. This young lady, see, this is what I don't young like lady? about the young lady. They talk about had how many strands of DNA or other men in front of, in, inside of her. Uh -huh. That has nothing to do with this right now. So it's just like there we go again, dragging the victim. So this case never did see the daylight in court. So. Yeah, well, the bottom line is we're talking about Gail we, yes, we and are. what Gail said. Now, I I have a problem with Gail bringing it up to Lisa Leslie. Uh, yes, the I bottom do. line is Gail did this whole apology about, you know, the, the producers and the show and they did this and they caught me off guard. Bottom line is you should have never asked that question. If you knew that Lisa Leslie and Kobe were good friends, the only question that came out of your mouth about Kobe and Lisa should have been, how are you dealing with the situation? because I know how close you and your friend were. That's it. So anything about this case and that court and all that, they don't, they don't have nothing to do with that. Right. She it, was out of place for that. So there's no apology place. that she could give because it was just you were out of place. And then the bottom line is you did that for ratings. Y'all did. did this for ratings. And like she said, they didn't already, they didn't already air that show and the show went off and nobody had nothing to do. Nobody had a problem with it. But the bottom line is you should never brought that up. Right. This right. man, this man has not been buried yet. Right. And, we, and she's not the only one that's bringing it up. There are some white news reporters that have brought that up too. And a lot of people have checked them as well. And they have been terminated, suspended. I've, I've seen that also going over social media. Um, and if, uh, someone from the Washington Post, she got suspended immediately after she, uh, uh, immediately after Kobe died, she, she, she made a statement about uh, he had been a, uh, accused of uh, right. Of and I just feel like it was very insensitive of of, of Scar. I mean, uh, Gail. Gail. Yeah, you, see, you, and, know, you, you know what you You know, doing. and I told her that she, she, I said that she's very much so, you know, like Gail Winters. You know Gail Winters from Scream? The one that Sydney Prescott had done. <laughs> <laughs> had to deck that hoe. You get what I'm saying? Girl, you put your feet in my face one more time. <laughs> put your feet in my face one more time. I'm going to fuck you up. Huh? Oh, so, I'm sorry. Most say that was your hand. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Mo. I'm sorry, I thought that was your feet. Yeah. But, you know, in, in all seriousness, you know, I just do think that it was, like, really not... And she blamed it on... Uh, it was out of context. She blamed it on editing. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of editing and stuff around here, you know, but we know just like we did not edit this into the show, but it's here. <laughs> you know, but the thing about it when it comes down to editing, you give people... You, you give it out. It's like with reality shows where they be out there fighting. It was the editing. It was the ed Bitch, yeah. you did it. You yeah. did it. You said you gave them enough to edit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, Gail was under a lot of, of heavy scrutiny with the situation. And, they, and, the, and the black people tore her ass to pieces. And one black but, person in particular. But wait, but wait, girl, even before you say that. But see, this is the thing. The network, that, that interview, the whole entire interview had already aired. Mm -hmm. So, what that means. A lot of black people that are comment on this interview, on they are only comment on something that they put out after the interview ad. Because the ad, the interview didn't get all of the hits, likes, and all of that that they wanted it to get. So they had to spruce it up. Let's let's take this they out. They sensationalized. So, yeah. yeah. What they did was they they stacked those particular statements up in order. She didn't say it in, the, in that. Conversation. In that particular, yeah. In that particular but program. they shouldn't. They just shouldn't have been having that conversation in your yeah, motherfucking she, way. Yeah, she. Not that she. She shouldn't have had that as a black. I don't give a fuck, Craig. I know you pro black, but we finna. But it's, since we, let's hear from someone that's completely pro black. Please let us hear from Snoop Luffacus himself. <laughs> Gail King. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? I swear to God, we the worst. We the fucking worst. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why y'all attacking us? We your people. You ain't coming after fucking Harvey Weinstein asking them dumb ass questions. I get sick of y'all. I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call her one? Funky dog head bitch. How dare you try to tarnish my motherfucking homeboy's reputation, punk motherfucker. Respect the family and back off, bitch, before we come get you. You funky doghead bitch. <laughs> oh, you talking to me? Uh, <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, you just repeat what Snoop said. You funky doghead bitch. Oh, you talking about Snoop. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't have a problem with Snoop, you know, talking about Gail and reading her and doing all of that. But when it comes to... You just don't want him calling a black woman a bitch? No, I just don't want him threatening her. Because when it comes to threatening, then that's another situation. Yeah, it Because it's just like, I, I went ham on Gail and Oprah when I hosted my show after that ad. Mm -hmm. I went ham on her. I and talked where, about her like a dog. Where's your show located? At Mix. It mix on Wednesday night karaoke and comedy. But I went ham on Oprah and Gail, Wendy Williams, Nene Leakes. I brought all of them in it. But when you threaten her, that is a, that's something different. And then it's just like, I was disappointed that everybody, nobody checked him on threatening her. Because regardless of how you feel about oh. the situation, you can talk about her like she's a dog. You can drag her like she's a dog because she deserved it because that should have never came out of her mouth. But when you threaten her, that's a different thing because I look at that like, I look at situations like this when you threaten a black woman is you threaten my mama. You threaten my sister. You threaten my Amy. You threaten the women that I love. You threaten all women. And, and you, that should never come out of your right. mouth. And then... And he threatened for, me. I felt threatened as a black woman. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then... For nobody... For none of the men Wait, to so check... Wait, so we're not going to worry about me being threatened as a black no, woman? No, because you, you, you got your stuff like I got my stuff. You talking about what's in your bag or what's in, up in your panties? Both. <laughs> I'm a double threat. <laughs> But it's just like, and then none of the men, it's just like, uh, what's his name? Pastor Troy. Pastor Troy can get up and you can talk about what somebody's name. on your hand. Shy, Pastor Troy. See, the fly know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Pastor Troy can get up and talk about what somebody wearing on the red carpet, but you can't defend a black woman. Hold on now. So then it's before just we like, well, who is it? Huh? Before we get on Pastor Troy, the only thing I've ever seen flies land on is shit. She shit. I am, I am the shit. <laughs> They've been telling me I am the shit. But we're going to get on Pastor Troy tonight. He ain't up yet. Yeah, but not all here, but I none of the men, that. none of the men, none of the men came to her defense when it came to Snoop Dogg threatening her. They, someone now, that's did. why I draw the line. Michael Eric Dyson did. His video was like nine and a half minutes. No, we can't air all that. Right. But he did come to the defense, and what he said was, 
Oprah and Gail have been for black people. And so even though this is a critical mistake that she made, I do agree that it was a mistake. But as a journalist major from Hampton University, I don't give a fuck where you were. It would have been, it would have been intellectually, it would have been journalistically dishonest if she hadn't brought it up at all. I do think that it was insensitive, and if, if, if for me, I wouldn't have said it. But to to categorize her, especially Oprah, as these people that are trying to tear down black men, I think that's really unfair, especially when it gets to to violence and attacking and that kind of thing. Because people want to say, well, why don't they attack the uh, Harvey Weinstein thing. Why do black women have to do the work of cleaning up the dysfunction in the white community? Why can't we see this as them trying to clean up dysfunction in the black community? Not with Kobe, because he was not—he was only accused. Why your word? But I'm saying we, we we did the same thing with R. Kelly. We did the same thing with Bill Cosby. But, but why we, do you? We don't want to. We don't want to. They they all are problematic. I'm talking about. Uh, Cosby and mm -hmm. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. But where you get your degree from in Hampton journalism? Hampton. 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 Take it back. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the bottom line is the bottom line is the bottom line is Gail has been with CBS News for how long? Right. I for did, how long I she did, been I up correct. there? So if she been she been at CBS News for how long? And, and this is so burdened. It's just something that she needed to talk about. She should have talked about it before she died. Talked to she should have talked to Kobe. Right. She done had since. 2003. They, did, they brought it up when he was nominated for his Oscar, and she interviewed one of Harvey Weinstein's accusers last year. Okay, she should have brought it up. But at the Kobe. end of the day, Kobe is dead. I agree. He I died. Agree. He the man ain't even in the grave in the ground yet. Right. You get what I'm saying? The man wife is the man died with his daughter. This just was not the time to I do agree. any of that. It's just it was agree. not the time. If she she should have did that, honey, when when he was before he got on the helicopter. I agree. But she should have left it alone. She should have left it alone. Bottom line is there's no she there's no have. excuse for her bringing but it up but because the bottom line is she should have treated Kobe just like she treated R. Kelly. But for black people to attack this woman like this, it's unheard of because. If you look at Snoop Dogg's career, he's done more to hurt black women than they could have ever done. By him saying she was a dog head bitch. No, no, no. His, his rap no, career, man. His and rap then they've been bringing up, they've been bringing up the picture where he, when he was on the red carpet, where he had two women, two black women on dog leashes. Absolutely. That's you know, so. That's and then it's just like, himself. okay. But it's just like, it's just like, All come right. on, come on, come on. Yeah, child. but we still talking about on. Kobe right now. Correct. Snoop would say what the fuck he want to say. I was down with Snoop until he said run down on her. Unless it was somebody in specific. But I got you. No, I agree. It was it was he was it was it was, it was it was just it didn't have no coof about it. And then did you see his apology? Who? Which was he Snoop. Yeah. No, his he Snoop, did a Donald Trump apology. No, Snoop apology was bitch. That, you that was not the apology. Here go. This was Snoop said. No, this was when she. This no. was the comment he put under her. Under that. Under, video uh, that she, her, when she did her apology. Bitch, yeah. you knew what you was doing. Stop playing dumb. Fuck your bosses, your network, and all your executives. You know, hard having gutless bitch. How dare you try and tarnish my friend's name? You and that bitch Oprah. It don't say bitch Oprah. It just say Oprah. <laughs> now you, now you taking your frustration out trying to add it in there with Snoop. Now you want to call Oprah bitch? Say bitch. Insert man to say Oprah bitch. <laughs> Oprah. Foul. Now you all you bitches down there to the on the free throw line. It don't say all you bitches. It say now you bitches. Not all. Just Oprah and Gail. Go ahead. We don't want y'all bitch ass dog head ass bitches. No, it's not with us. We don't want y'all hoes. Y'all not with us. It's meaning us. So fuck y'all dark ass goddamn crispy crudder ass. No, it just says churches chicken it's bitches. It's meaning us. So fuck y'all. I can't re really understand that last line. <laughs> He was high. He was. He was high. But the bottom line is, uh, she had no business bringing that up. That had no business in the conversation whatsoever. So if she hadn't brought that up, they wouldn't have had nothing to edit, like we said. Right. And now, then now, before we keep moving into this situation, I need you guys to understand, we're going to be on this topic for a second. So if y'all are in the comment section over it, <laughs> do what you do. Anyway, <laughs> so we're moving right through the rest of this stuff, because we're talking about this, and we're going to get this out, and we ain't talking about this shit no more. Until Oprah do some more fuck shit. Let my girl alone. Man, listen, you just said it because she's responding to one of your comments under your damn I love cookbook. Some she I love sure. some Oprah too. I love I Oprah. saw you down there peddling her, I trying love, to send her see, your book. 
this is what I be telling y'all. What you Listen. got? What, so don't stop us. Don't stop us. Right. Them books, Craig, writing, don't stop us. We got some new don't stop us coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they gonna be off for Valentine's Day. Writing that damn cookbook that ain't got nail recipe in the bitch. <laughs> Anyway, the next thing that us up, we talking about Oprah. We, we just we gonna get this out. So if y'all tired of it, girl, go fry some chicken and come back. Um, Oprah gets emotional while responding to Gail King's backlash over Kobe Bryant. She she questioned. She received death threats. She's not doing good at all. Oh my God. She's not doing good at all. I went down there and sat in that jail. She had the moment of security. I sat in that jail. She has the moment of security. But I know there was a God. She's not good at all. She when I see you in that store, Miss Neely, I know there was a God. <laughs> Oh, Miss Cena, don't trade places with me, Miss Cena. Don't, do <laughs> don't trade places with me. Don't trade places with me, Miss Cena. Did you go buy some gal? <laughs> <laughs> so Oprah said up there, she did this thing. You know, we all know that Oprah is a great actress, and I did see. <laughs> no, we, all of that. And well, I did what? see those crocodile tears coming down. Those. Oh, they stopped, though. Them glasses caught them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is the thing I have to say about Oprah and her apology. You know, she said, she. She had been slept in two days. I was on the phone with her last night and this morning and the night before and I was on the phone with her. And she ever said, and she had to walk with security. What you think about Vanessa Bryant and her kids? Do you think they sleeping easy? So you want to defend your friend, but you ain't saying nothing about the woman that your friend attacked. Her and her kids are going through way more than your friend is going through that you have to pay for security for. What a good, girl ain't got nobody to pay for no What a good journalist would have said, that woman who accused Kobe of rape had DNA from four different males inside her. <laughs> no, that is somebody that just wanted to divert from what's really going on, honey, and bring the victim into it. I done told y'all, I'm not gonna have y'all victim shame. Well, I'm not this gonna be a victim to in this, this motherfucker. I ain't finna keep being, being, uh, 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 okay. uh, I done told security to come get this piece off me. Okay. Shit. All right, now here, now let's get back to a little serious part of it. Uh, Mo, I would like for you, if you can, put this side by side with us. This woman is, what's her Erica name? Cobb. Erica Cobb. She kind of summed it up in a way that I felt so connected to her response to the entire situation, both about the way, the backlash that uh, uh, Gail. Gail had been receiving and you know what she did and about the people that's attacking her. I did, I did understand it. Like, and the way she broke it down, it was amazing. So you guys pull your popcorn out and, get, and, and cause we gonna run this right here. In its entirety. In its entirety. Oh. So turn your TVs up in there, go in there, fix your, your respirators, tequila. <laughs> Let's play the video. I'm not gonna say who's to blame, but I do think that we're trying to make a very uncomfortable conversation complicated. And I think we're doing that because clearly there is a lot of emotion and a lot of hurt involved. In order to really have a conversation about why this has been such a big story, if we have to talk about what was happening in 2003 when Kobe was first accused of rape. There were two different Americas. We had white households whose parents uh, were telling their white daughters to beware of Kobe's. In in the wake of O.J. Simpson. We had black households who were telling their kids about the story of Emmett Till, the 14-year-old black boy who was killed in Mississippi for allegedly whistling at a white woman in 1955, and we later learned that that wasn't the truth. So when we have these two very different conversations happening, we see this Kobe Bryant situation very differently. We have some people who see a black man who got away with raping a white woman. Some of us see a black man who was accused of raping a white woman and did something that was historically daunting. He he not only got past these allegations and moved on with his life, but he went on to be great and inspire a lot of people. Some people will see his apology as an omission of guilt. Some of us see his apology as fighting for his life. And we think about Emmett Till and how many times he apologized for something he didn't do in order to fight for his life. So when we're having these conversations in mainstream media, especially as a black woman in media, we have to be so careful 
because this narrative has already been out there in a way that mainstream media was never about because there was zero representation in 2003 to even have a thought of what the Kobe side could have been. And now we're here and we're having these conversations and we can't have these conversations with even a hint of not having a historical context in them because it is just that painful. And that's the reason why no one wants to hear from any black woman, black man in mainstream media that isn't speaking love and peace and honor on Kobe Bryant's name less than two weeks after his death and that's the reason why there's so much backlash and until we have that conversation we're not having a conversation at all because we have to decide if we want to have a comfortable conversation or a complex complica conversation and the story is just uncomfortable it is not complex wow I just want to say before we move on I'm learning so much from you as just a white woman all the layers all the trauma all the history I see you visibly shaking um, it's painful it's, Sam. and I'm learning that and um, thank you I mean in two minutes how much can we really discuss but I hope one day DBL can have a larger conversation about just race in America and we can bring up examples like this so we can better understand where the pain comes from so thank you for yeah, that I Erica. Say thank you too because I don't want to be silent about this I saw you in the dressing room we talked about this yesterday and I said thank you yesterday for opening my eyes says I know how difficult this is for you and it's listen let me tell you something now that is a girl that I believe got her degree from Hampton University <laughs> no that is a girl that got her degree from Howard University <laughs> Bitch. That's what they say when they couldn't get in. <laughs> I couldn't hold that, Craig. I'm sorry. You set yourself up. I was going to find a way to get your motherfucking ass back trying to serve me because I don't got a college degree, bitch. I'm still No, here. no, no. I didn't want to say anything like that. You, and, no, you Mark, and Daniva going to cut that bullshit out. Mark Lamont Hill had a really good point, too. That's girl, you changed the yeah, subject but let's talk, let's girl. Talk about, the let's, subject let's, girl. Let's, let's talk about this Harvard graduate black woman that was sitting up here talking was in a very educated oh, so situation. Also, Harvard is better because it's white? No, I didn't. Did, no, what? that's what you think, because you the one saying that. You said, well, Harvard graduate. Well, she just said Harvard. You didn't say nothing when she said. Black women go to Harvard. I didn't say that they did. Oh, okay. Well, close your mouth then, bro. <laughs> it's Black History Month. We celebrate all Black History. That's why you should have chosen the HBCU. Okay. Oh, Before I was so really interrupted by the Calm down. Calm, Calm down. down. <laughs> Calm down, Miss Craig. Calm down. <laughs> She's so angry. She's getting ready to snoop dog you. <laughs> Girl, you had to win all. I believe she would have called you all raggedy face bitch. <laughs> Can I call her one? <laughs> <laughs> call her two. Can I call, call her two? <laughs> all right. So here's the thing with that. I learned a piece about that. I learned a piece about even though I knew history, but I learned a piece about myself in that. I learned a piece of, of, about my, my race in that. I, I love the way that she took the, the, the dynamics of the two situations and placed them, you know, in, in the past to the right. present. That was so amazing. And as, a, as that white woman was sitting there getting her education, as a black trans woman, I was getting mine too. And I was like, yes, this, is, this was the correct response to anything that, that, the, that uh, but this is the difference between having an education and smoking a blunt. <laughs> I mean, no shade to you, Snoop. I did like your response a little bit, uh -huh. but no shade. But this is difference in between, you know, mm -hmm. Harvard in the hood. I mean, that's, that's just out of... <laughs> I'm sorry, Chichi, did you smoke a blunt earlier? I sure did. Right. He's not even standing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't even know he's here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you said Mark Lamont had a... Uh, he, he tweeted in response to uh, what Snoop said to Gail. They told Mark Lamont to kick rocks. Mark Lamont said the word for today is nuance. You, you didn't know I knew that, did you? Uh, yeah. The word for today <laughs> is nuance. You can have a critique of Gail King, though folks should actually watch the whole interview and hold Snoop accountable for the misogynistic way he engaged her. And I agree. We can check Gail. Yes. But we need to check Snoop too. Yeah. He got checked. Yeah. But we forgiven. Gail bit your head still on the chopping block. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. I'm sick of talking about her motherfucking ass. Is we done with that? Yes. No, I wanna say one more thing. <laughs> right on, soul sister. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on the court ledger is uh, someone is, uh, that I love to death, and I just I really don't like talking about her in those situations that's going on. But hey, here it is. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Tamika Lodian, <laughs> LaShawn Mills versus Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Who? Tamika Lodian. Who is that? Tamika Lodian, LaShawn Mills. Who is that? AKA Meek, Meek Mills. Mills. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> versus <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Uh huh. Well, I'm really like. I'm tired of the, the situation with that bush because they was just in the store the other day about to tear the store down. Her, yeah. she, she was with her husband. They say Meek was in there first and then her, her husband came in and then, you know, like I said on the week prior, bitch, I don't want to be your friend. Keep that same energy. You was online talking shit. You, you be somewhere talking trash. Don't try to shake my hand or be like, hey, friend. Hey, sis. Oh, they don't say sis no more. It's sus. Oh, it's sus. S U S. Hey, sus. Can you break the difference that? down in between the two sis and sus? Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> My God, today, God damn it! So the tweet, so the, so the, so it escalated from Nicki Minaj uh, from getting mad at Meek because he liked a photograph on t Twitter or something, or some kind of meme of her uh -huh. talking bad about her. So then she tweeted out. And here's the tweets here. You beat your own sister and taped it. Spit on her and taped it. Kicked me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking Drake dick made you feel tough again. Move on. Damn, what kind of go go? What kind of what's that shit that used to make pop out? What kind of spinach, spinach. Is, is in Drake dick? Let me suck it. Oh my god. Because I got to be strong and knock this motherfucker out sitting next to me right here. Girl, that is nasty, honey. Sucking dick. You want to suck Drake dick? God, that is so disgusting. <laughs> I'm appalled at you. No, actually. Why you... would you even bring that? Ooh. No, you ain't appalled. You just Paul. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but, honey, you go ahead. I don't suck dick no more, baby. <laughs> you just told me you were sucking an Uber driver's dick. I didn't say I sucked dick. his dick. I don't suck dick, baby. I deep throat cock. Oh, <laughs> My God, the day. I ain't the dick since high school. <laughs> and we all know that was a very long, 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 long. But I graduated. <laughs> Girl, I think she's trying to say uh, It don't matter. <laughs> Her check ain't gonna clear anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why you bitches laughing? I don't accept checks when I'm working. <laughs> When I'm working with niggas, I take cash. <laughs> Give me my money, nigga. <laughs> you do sound like an old dirty bastard. <laughs> oh my God. So Meek responded to her tweet and he said, You said you sad. You willing to crash your man <laughs> because you losing now and everybody in the industry know you're a bad person. You been knew your brother was raping that little girl. That's why I got away from you. So Meek said, the only way you can try to kill my career is to say I beat women. Talk about your brother convicted of rape and you been new and paid for his lawyer. Your little brother touched that little girl too. You know, I know you want me to crash with your boyfriend and I won't. So Nikki's response to that was trigger fingers, tw trigger fingers turned to Twitter fingers, bad built face ass obsessed with the queen. Mm. And then uh, she says, nigga been tweeting about my man for a year now, talking about he won't, what? He went to my page to see him, but he was blocked. My nigga move on. I know your bitch embarrassed shit at yourself in the store when you got pressed though, clown, okay? And then she said, imagine talking about an alleged rape of a child to hurt someone who wasn't involved just so people can dislike me. You can never stand on your own. You won't tell people the mother is on tape asking me for 20 million to make the charge go away. You was around, you know, see you soon. Mm. See you soon. That sound like another threat, girl. Yikes. Girl, ain't gonna be no more black people left by the time we get to the end of Black History. <laughs> <laughs> All the colors gonna be dead, honey. Oh, my God. Well, it, well for me, y'all know. Y'all can call me biased or whatever. Y'all mm -hmm. know I'm a Nikki Stan. That's my girl yeah. or whatever. 
Yeah, go ahead. I know that's your girl. Go ahead. That's yeah. my girl. And uh, you know, and in this situation, the part that really struck me the most is the is about the twenty million dollar part. Like that's just like you know, if somebody's there, seeing what's going on, y'all don't fuck with each other no more, and you know somebody out is blat blatantly lying on you or trying to discredit your name or trying to you know you know the the, the gist of the situation, but you go to the public to try to you know, make the public drag and dislike this person because they already have a hate train going on. I think that's some raggedy ass. That's some late trap ass shit. And for that, Tamika Lodi and LaShawn Mills, we have renamed you to carry the name Tamika Lodi and LaShawn Mills until this is done. It is done. Well, it's still Tamika. Because I can't understand. They got all these tweets going back and forth. But girl, what is, what is that for? What is it for? What, what did they resolve? Well, I mean, the thing about it, I do believe that he still that he still has a place uh, as a place in his heart, but that, for her. But that makes me look like it ain't got nothing to do with Meek Mills. You taking stuff out on this child that you really upset with on Meek Mill, because who you really want to last shot at is oh, girl. no, she don't. <laughs> that girl don't give a f girl don't do that, Sophia. <laughs> don't do that. Let me tell you something. You're not gonna sit up and oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That girl ain't thinking about her like that. She not. No, she not. Okay, but girl, what's what I could you go Mo? She ain't yeah. thinking about her. Mo, like hold that. up, Mo. Could you pull up the tweets that Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj they have said about the upcoming election? How they feel about the upcoming election? Oh, Could girl, here she go with it. Up? Here we go. We, we, we moving on to the pull next case. Up. Pull them tweets. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna come. Mo, pull them tweets. Ain't there a tweet out there about? Oh, it. they don't care about the election coming up. But they want to go back and forth about something that don't really matter. Going on between them. Obviously, it matters because that's going on in their life right now, and this and they tweeting about yeah. it and talking about it with each other. Grow up. Just like I'm sitting up here, I have a serious problem with this motherfucking wig on your head, girl. But see, I have a serious problem with this motherfucking wig on your head. <laughs> Well, let's get the tweeting about and it. This not no wig. That's a wig. <laughs> this is a unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Keep Dear telling God this, heaven. David, I keep telling this nigga to leave me alone. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of niggas leaving <laughs> other niggas alone. <laughs> Sister Troy versus oh, Luna. <laughs> Sister, Sister Troy, Troy, aka the pastor from the church. From the church, Sister Troy. Sister Troy. What Sister Troy did? Pastor Troy. Mm. Child, Pastor Troy been in some hot water, hot boiling water, honey. <laughs> Actually, hot fish grease. <laughs> Baby, the kids have been filleting that ground. Oh my God. That grouper. Ooh. That flounder. I'm telling you, we ain't gonna have no colors left on February 29th. <laughs> All the colors gonna be gone. They gonna be gone. Yeah, it's just gonna be me and you, nigga. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> we gonna have to carry the torch That's into the it. next century. Listen, <laughs> you giving me you giving me a, a, a Harriet Tuppet, and you know what I'm saying? And I'm giving you very... Uh... You giving me uh, Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was mixed. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Pastor Troy went to uh, Instagram and said, well, I guess I won't be winning a Grammy. If this what I got to wear, they love to push this shit on our children. <laughs> the other day at Applebee's had some punks. Some what? They had some what? He said punks, P U N K, but he really wanted to say it in the real in the real Black History uh, uh, Month tone. Punk, punks, they had some punks, <laughs> punks. That would be P O U N K S. But he don't know how to spell. He don't know how to spell that because he went to where? Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't go to Hampton. <laughs> punks, kissing and laughing, eating monster brother seeds. First thing my 14-year-old son said was, fuck Applebee's, and it brought joy to my heart. He sees it, their agenda to take the masculinity from men. Rewind that. Black, Say that again. The first thing his what? The first thing my 14-year-old said, son said was, fuck Applebee's, and it brought joy to my heart. He sees it, their agenda to take the masculinity from men, mm. black men especially. Some may say he making money, RuPaul do too, but I ain't bumping his CD. Integrity is 
priceless. Y'all better open that third eye and let your sons know what is real or they ass gonna be headed down that old town road for real. Uh, PT, oh, Pastor Troy, they going okay, I'm not reading all his hashtags. Mm. Now, if he really wanna talk about opening that third eye, Usually, the third eye I know about is in the back. Mm. And when they be having issues like this, sometimes it doesn't been opened by accident. Mm. <laughs> well, I want to know <laughs> is he has a problem with what somebody else is wearing that has nothing to do with him. Right. And he said that he guess he won't be winning a Grammy because of what somebody else is wearing. You're not going to be winning a Grammy because of your music. Right. <laughs> right. Your shit is just, to, just to be clear. Again, yeah. For you to be on here going on and on about what somebody else is wearing, what you should be concerned uh -huh. with is your fourteen year old son saying fuck, Come on. fuck the restaurant. In Applebee's. Yeah. Shop, shop, That's shop. what you should be concerned Can about. Can we preach, Pastor? Come on, mm -hmm. Pastor. I need you to take us to church and it says just a pastor on a pastor. Mm -hmm. And he said to, I just want you to know that everybody that say they're a pastor ain't a pastor. Ain't that shot. Some people are called, but a lot of people are texts. And according to this statement that he just put out, he is not a pastor that has been called. This he has been right text. Yeah. Somebody yeah. texted him and told him you need to bring a word. And, what he and the word that he brought was not a legitimate word. Yeah, no, because shot. the word was hidden in his word. Amen. Yeah, but shot. when you are an anointed pastor, yeah, you can dig in that word. You and when you are an anointed pastor, hey, you can dig in that word hey, and find the hidden word and bring the hidden word to the light. Hey. Because see, the 14 year old son uh -huh. was hidden in the dark. Okay. But when I had to read it over, uh -huh. I brought it to the light. Amen. And when you are an anointed when you are an anointed pastor, you can go in anywhere. Because let me tell you something. A lot of people say. A lot of people say God has a voice, but I want you to know the devil has a voice too. And a lot of people saying that they listen to the Lord's voice. I want you to know that it's not the Lord's voice that you're hearing. That is the voice of the devil. Don't you know that the devil has a voice? The devil has a voice. And you got to learn to tell the difference between the devil's voice and the Lord's voice. In order for you to tell the difference between the devil's voice and the Lord's voice, you got to be on the right side of righteousness. You got to be on the right side of justice. You got to be on the right side. I say somebody go get me some ice for my water. Go get me some ice for my water. Yes, honey, you gotta be on the word. Because everybody will tell you that they're a child of God. But they'll be acting like the devil. Lord, Hammer, oh Lord, this lady done went in. <laughs> Hold on, put it back up, honey. Let me shake my brother's hand. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, my bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. bitch. See, I, <laughs> no, I tell you, honey. We just came out of church and she already cursing me out. Wait a minute, bitch. We ain't been out of church one minute. I ain't into that kind. I go to a non denomination church. You tried to put a Pentecostal read down on me. No, I, I didn't. Go. That was an old Baptist read. <laughs> Yeah. I'm backwood Baptist. Man, listen, well, as long as you Saved, ain't a, sanctified, and holy filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, yeah, Oh, I'm backwood, baby. <laughs> ain't nothing Pentecostal about me. None at all. Ain't nothing Catholic about me. <laughs> I'm backwood. I'm backwood Baptist <laughs> all the way. I'm talking about we used to go down to the Jordan River. Uh -huh. Y'all just sing about it, but we used to go down <laughs> to the Jordan River. I'm backwood Baptist all the way. Well, what is this and I'm deal? telling you, when I came in church, honey, we didn't have no carpet like y'all had. We got floors that squeak when you walk in. Hello, somebody. What is what? What is this nigga then? That nigga is an apostle. <laughs> Not an apostle, but an apostle. He is an imposter, actually. No, he's just I a nigga with bad clothes <laughs> and music to match. Oh, my God. Well, here's the situation with me. Like, all jokes aside. Mm -hmm. So, scoot aside. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Here's Girl, the hold on now. Now I came up in here, bitch. Now they're not finna tell her. Now look at us. We look like Mary Mary. Mm. <laughs> Which one do I tell? Well, I actually look like both Marys. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you look like her, but oh, that's the wrong show. Vincent Herbert. <laughs> Girl, we look like Mary Mary. <laughs> look, look. Take the shackles off my feet so I can. Just praise it. Just want to praise That's it. That's it. Just want to praise it. That's it. But what was you getting ready to say, Sid? Well, what I get ready to say was, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. here's the problem. We got, excuse me, not we. I'm speaking in a colored tone now. Okay. We so worried about people's homo- homosexuality, sexuality in general, that we can't even live our existence. Mm-hmm. It, why is it bothering you that this man, see, because the real issue ain't got nothing to do with him having on this pink dress. Mm-hmm. The issue was the Grammy. That he don't have. Right. <laughs> okay. So when we get down to the root of the prop, mm-hmm. come on. When we get down mm-hmm. to the root of the prop, mm-hmm. Say it, say it, say it. I don't have my degree in pastoring. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> when I mean, we get down to the root of the problem, uh-huh, uh-huh. what you're really talking about is not what you want to talk about. Uh-huh. Because what you want to talk about, you can't talk about. Because it'll show who you really are. Okay. You're not worried about what this man been wearing. Uh-huh. Because they done show pictures, yeah. seriously. Of all, you know, the gap bag. Right. <laughs> then I come out of there. You did. See, that's when the pastor come out and say, let me tell you something. Because <laughs> they done show pictures of, like, different bands yes. that been wearing something, like Bootsy come and on, all man. these folks been with, dressing like this. So I mean, even the Dr. Dr. Dre one. had on that silver outfit on his first Child, album. Look, half of the stuff Prince wore was the same thing Lil Nas like X But the problem problem was the Grammy because the first thing that came out of his mouth was, well, I guess I won't be winning the Grammy. You knew that. Yeah. You've been putting an album since 99. Girl, nobody even know. We thought you was talking about that. guess what? And when he did that, you know why he did that? Because, you know, usually when people do stuff like that, you Google it, you say, who is this Pastor Troy? Didn't nobody even Google him. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the reason why he wasn't Google because the name is Pastor. Ain't nobody trying to go to church with no nigga like this. Mm. You know, but I'm just tired of I'm just tired of people, Child. you know, uh, 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 casting problem. out their own insecurities about things that they have, and then blaming the shit on gay. Yes, and they want to use the children as a scapegoat. Yes, and let me tell you something. My mama taught me believe half of what you hear and none of what you motherfucking see, because it or either however it go, none What's of what your mama you, taught you, none of what you whatever. She said, don't believe half of what you hear. Well, don't believe half of what you see or none of what you hear, whatever it is. <laughs> point is, <laughs> point is, nigga, the main ones that be jumping up and down talking about they don't like the punk, be the main one with a punk boyfriend. Okay. Sophia been around here tricking off with niggas all her life. And we know this a punk right here. You hear what I'm telling you? I'm not a punk. <laughs> Where are you? I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> and that's spelled with two eyes. Long as you spell it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just tired of it. I, I'm just saying the same thing they use about the trans and the bathroom. They wanted to use the kids. The children. What about the children? What about the children? The oh, children. Uh. So it always an issue when uh, uh, about gay, but y'all ain't never worrying about the gang banging in your music. You ain't never bringing, worried about the drug dealing in your music. Uh-huh. You ain't never worried about the bitches and hoes oh. in your music. Yeah. You ain't worried about none of those things. About okay. beating the block. And you telling that one of these niggas in your music to get no job. You telling them to serve dope on the corner. Slang. And, and yes, yeah, slang, slang. Slang. And here's the thing. A lot of y'all are, are the contributions to the gay man, girl, if you want to be honest with you. You, Bootsy, all y'all trying to have them niggas uh, 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 follow up behind y'all lifestyle and here they go in jail. And they ain't got nothing to do but suck. They can get fucked. Oh, my God. Oh, girl. Girl, you know how to come back with a sermon. They ain't got nothing to do but suck. They can get fucked in jail. In jail. But see, I think the problem is that this is just me. I go. Come I on. think the problem is they don't mind it being on the low low in the industry, the rap industry. It's just like when somebody like Lil Nas X get in there, and he know all the tea. He can get all the tea because he's invited to these parties. And truth be told, Lil Nas X in his short career has been invited to more places than Pastor Troy, church or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> So just Pastor let, Troy, it, go. We let need it go. We you sit to, try. You to the chair. 
Mm-mm. Get somewhere and sit down, bitch. Sure, sit down. You and your motherfucker got there already in the making homophobic ass son that may end up with two pounds Ch- before he leave the earth. Church, maybe. Oh, are there some tea you withholding? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't have our allegedly signs. <laughs> We're going to keep them down for the night. Oh, because oh, this is true. <laughs> we ain't speaking nothing but truth up in here tonight. All right, now. We speaking the truth? We speaking truth. Damn, you look good, Sophia. <laughs> 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 I found that sign. <laughs> what your mama say again? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. <laughs> Is that what your mama said? <laughs> Believe half of what you hear and none of what you see? Something like that, homeboy. Look at me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let me tell y'all something. I know a lot of people going to say, ooh, they show sure said in the word nigga a lot tonight. It's just me. Because I ain't buried the word. Y'all buried it. Don't start that stuff because they're going to get on you about that time you had still was wearing Gucci when motherfucking T.I. I'm still wearing Gucci. When T.I. was out there. I'm still wearing Gucci. I got my Gucci bag. Did you see me put my stuff in your house in my Gucci bag tonight? I ain't running. Bitch, let me tell y'all something. Ever since they started boycotting Gucci, now that some time has passed, they back buying Gucci. Yeah, that's why I said I don't rock with these black folks. They talk about boycotting. Them bitches talk about they boycotting Houston. I saw a bitch in there the other day eating pork chops. <laughs> so y'all boycotts only last for a couple of months. Then once everything died down for a little while, y'all back to doing whatever y'all do. I just got my Gucci, honey. You got some Gucci you want to give me? Because you was boycotting, too. You got any Gucci? I don't waste my money on stuff like that. Oh, okay. What you waste your money on? Food. Mm-hmm. You say don't, food. Don't give me too much, Craig. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, he say food. Craig, don't give me too much. F-O-O-D. Girl, he came for you, girl. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I ain't gonna slice you yet. The time will come, though. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of the time coming and slicing, uh, Azalea Banks went to Instagram on a rant, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what she was saying. Please <laughs> play this video. This was crazy, but I'm in a favor myself. I'm at 21 and what? San Miguel Street. This is the second time my neighbor pulled a gun on me. I didn't feel like he was threatening to fucking shoot me. He's like, raise us because I keep playing the music. I please, he's like, please, like, I just need people to come here and surround me. Uh-uh. Girl, you heard uh-uh. what she said, girl. Don't uh-uh. do her like that. Don't do her like uh-uh. that. Listen. She a victim. Right, so she were we. Really, they pulled a gun on her, uh-huh. and then they tried to do it, mm-hmm. and then they tried to get her our... salad. Mm-hmm. Then they said, she said uh-uh. they had got the, her honey bun, and she had just paid for that honey bun at the store. Yeah. And then the store man had charged her the tax on the honey bun, and she know that there was not supposed to be no tax on that honey bun, because she buy them honey buns every day. Right. And then she went on and paid the tax on That's the honey bun, said. because she was feeling that honey bun, and she had a sweet tooth, and she wanted her honey bun. So when she got out the store, that man pulled a gun on her, yes, and that... tried to take her honey bun, yes, that... and she wasn't finna let her honey bun go because she had a sweet tooth in her mouth and there was no way she was going to give him a honey bun. He was just going to have to take her and the honey bun. She was not going to just let that honey bun snatch her, snatch her honey bun. That's what she said. You heard what she said, Okay, girl. go back again more real quick. Let's mm. go back real fast. Let me let me see and then mm, I'll let you know. That's what she said. I'll let you know that's if that's what I heard. I'll let you know. Let me see. It was crazy. But I'm in a labor myself. I'm at 21 and what? San Miguel Street. This is the second time my neighbor pulled a gun on me. I didn't feel like he was threatening to fucking shoot me. He's like, raise us because I keep playing the music. Yes, okay, sure. what? Well, okay, I got it. She was said she was at twenty one eighty one, and if y'all got the mushrooms in your bag, come around here because we over here <laughs> snorting that shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, she and my not. white neighbor tried to she steal my shit from me. He pulled a she, gun no, on me. She said that man tried to snatch her honey bun and she almost peed on herself. No, sis, that was. You a, heard it. She did. No, 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 that one honey bun you heard. What was that? Snow? That was, yes, yeah, snow and mushrooms. Azalea. Yes. Play it again. No more. <laughs> I don't want that creeping through the seat. To the seat. We, listen, we just going to. What? We're not gonna help a sister. No. I tell y'all, ain't gonna be no black people. <laughs> We're not even helping the sister. Mm-mm. Got rid of the brother. The brother. She oh. got to work that out on her own. Oh, girl, we gotta be in the gap for a girl. We gotta be in the gap. <laughs> you don't want to 
be in the gap for the sisters. Put some braces on it. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Jay Z gets NFL to ear- earmark a hundred million dollars for criminal justice reform. Mm. Really, <laughs> Craig? Where did you get this information? It was a news article. Okay. Congratulations, Jay Z. <laughs> criminal justice no. reform. Is this for like people that's been to prison and yeah, well, criminals. Well, it's for criminals. Reform. It's for criminals, Maddie. It's, it's for criminals. And they get a job? No, no, no. Reform is just like the disparities. You know how like one black folks are getting uh harsher sentences and that kind of thing and just Turning over different things, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, are, black people, are in jail for marijuana. And now they have these marijuana distilleries and stuff. So they just it's for all. To, okay. So what he's trying to say, girl, is you know, like if if you get arrested for drugs, they give you thirty years because you're a black woman. But if I get arrested for drugs, they give me ten years because I'm a light skinned white woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see, they so basically, to get it it's with... just like if you know I was being, if she was being charged for murder <laughs> from the person that she took this piece of cloth from and placed it on her head, and I was getting charged for recklessly endangering an Asian woman's hair. No, I would get a lighter sentence, and she would get the most heavier sentence, right? No, I would get a lighter sentence because I just got the hair from around the horse's nuts. <laughs> you got the hair from the horse's tail. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right. well, good job. But no, but the thing is, the criticism. thing is, he was getting a lot of criticism because he took this position with the NFL, mm-hmm. knowing the stance that everybody was taking with Colin Kaepernick. And Jay-Z was one of Colin Kaepernick's strongest allies. And then when he took this job with the NFL, everybody said that, you know, he sold out. So now he is showing them that, no, I did not sell out. I'm still in here doing what I, what I need to do to help us. Amen. So he's helping us hey. by being well, at I'm the not, table. I'm not a criminal. Huh? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Who you telling that to? <laughs> I don't care how many times you say it. It doesn't make it true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but he's doing a lot of things. But it's just like, child. And then it's just like, even with the Super Bowl performance, a lot of people jumping on Jay-Z because he and Beyonce and Blue Ivy, they didn't stand up during the national anthem. So Jay-Z came out and he said, the reason that we didn't stand up because we was in, 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 in a deep conversation. And I, I believe him because I've been in a situation because he said he's a, he say he was at work. He said, I'm at work. And he said, the sound for these events is good for TV. He said, but when you're in person, it's a totally different sound. And as a uh, producer, he was listening to his artists and making sure that the sound quality was right. So a lot of people didn't buy that. But you have to understand that Yolanda Adams sung first. So he was up there critiquing the sound while Yolanda Adams was singing. And then he went on to say, you know, we were so involved in the conversation that it didn't dawn on me to, that the national anthem was being sung. And then it was just like somebody tweeted me afterwards. But saying, Yolanda hey. Adams did sing the national anthem. She sung America the Beautiful. Yeah, but they were critiquing the sound while she was singing America the Beautiful, nigga. Was they cr- <laughs> So since the conversation had already started, but while the she's but singing, the question is, was they critiquing the sound or the way Yolanda sounded? The sound. He was saying. Well, the let's sound. talk about the way Yolanda sounded. She sounded good. <laughs> Yolanda's my favorite female singer, and she sounds good. And you're gonna respect her the way I respect Nicki Minaj. <laughs> okay. Girl, if that's the case. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn that bitch. <laughs> we finna turn this into a dream girl situation. <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta say about Yolanda? What? Can you sing it a little bit? Can you give me a little bit of what she's America the Beautiful, how she did it? Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a little bit of it? Oh, beautiful. Uh huh. First base just got. Uh huh. And that is all I know for purple mountains, majesty. Oh, my Why you cry? 
time, Miss Snotty. Cause my eardrums gone with that bullshit you was over there. You sounded just like Yolanda. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Hold on, I gotta fix my my hair. My unit, girl. What happened? Girl, I'm Rick James, bitch. So, <laughs> moving on. The next up on the court ledger, we have Puff, Many Names, Daddy, a.k.a. Miss Mama. Girl, that ain't a recent picture of Puff. Miss Mama's. That's not a recent picture. Miss Mama's, you're being brought up on charges by Mace, okay? Yes. Now, you had gave this eloquent, eloquent. <laughs> eloquent with a G. Elegance. Eloquent. Eloquent. Elegance. You gave this eloquent speech at the honor. Was he honored for something? It was at the Grammy. Grammy. Child, it was eloquent. Birthday party, child. He was honored at. Uh, no, it was an eloquent. Yeah, over at uh, what's the man name discovered Whitney Houston? Clyde. Clyde. Clyde Davis. Yeah, his Grammy party. But it was an eloquent speech. Uh huh. Do you have it? No, I don't have it. But I do have a response to it by his former artist Mace. Mace. Okay. The Reverend. Okay, cause you know Diddy, he said during his speech that you know uh, the uh, Grammys have never respected the rappers. And been Inclusive. And being inclusive, yeah. Thank you, Craig. I told you he's a good nigga on air, but off the air, <laughs> that nigga ain't no good. Well, listen, let me read to you what the man said. He Mace? said, Mace. He okay. said, I heard your Grammy speech, motherfucker, <laughs> about how you you are now for the artist and about how the artist must take back control. Uh huh. So I'll be the first to take that initiative. Yeah. Also, before we ask of other ethnicities to do us right, mm -hmm. we should do us as black people better, mm -hmm. especially the creators. Yeah. I heard you loud and clear when you said that you are now for the artists. Yeah. And to that, my response is, if you want to see change, mm -hmm. you can make a change today. Mm. By starting with yourself. Ooh, change comes from within. Go ahead, read. Your past business practices. Mm-hmm knowingly has continued purposely starved your artist and been extremely unfair to the very same artist mm -hmm. that helped you yes. obtain that icon award on the iconic bad boy lady. Mm -hmm. Read. For example, mm -hmm. you still got my publishing from 24 years ago. Lord, let it go. Let in it go. which you gave me $20,000, mm -hmm. which makes me never want to work with you again. as any artist wouldn't after you know someone robbing you and mm -hmm. tarnishing your name yes. when you don't want to comply with, with his horrendous business model. Right. However, mm -hmm. people would always ask, what's up with Mace? Mm -hmm. So I would be forced to still perform, to not look crazy when I was getting peanuts. Uh -huh. And the robbery would continue. Yes. So many great moments in people's lives and music were lost. But again, again, I rode with you in the face of death. I rode with you, nigga. <laughs> Read. <laughs> Without flinching. Mm -hmm. And you still Still. Wouldn't do right. Wouldn't do right. I never said anything because I wanted to wait until I was financially great. Mm -hmm. So I could ensure that I was addressing this from a pure place. Right. And not out of spite. Yes. To add insult, you keep screaming black, 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 black mm -hmm. excellent. Yes. And love. Mm -hmm. But I know love isn't free. Right. So I offered you $2 million in cash just a few days ago to sell me back my publishing mm. as his biggest artist alive, mm. living. That always show you respect for you giving me an opportunity at 19 years old. Mm. Your response was, if I can match what the European guy offered him, that would be the only way I can get it back. Mm. Or else I can wait until I'm 50 years old and it will revert to me from when I was 19 years old. Mm. You bought it for about 20000 and I offered you $2 million cash. Mm. This is not black excellence at all mm. when our own race is enslaving us. Mm. If it's about us owning, it can't be about us owning each other. Mm. No more hiding behind love. Yeah. You change, give the artists back their money so they can take care of their children. Yeah. Love, love lifted me when nothing else would help. Oh, love, oh, love lifted me. Love, oh, love it lifted me. 
visit me. Visit me. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now. It's love, sweet love. Actually, what the world needs right now is Mace to get his money. Right. He told that nigga, bitch, I offered your ass two mi- 20000 and then offered you $2 million. You know what Diddy told that nigga? What'd he say? I love you. <laughs> you love me. Uh, <laughs> listen, what he said was he wanted his publishing, and, it is, and, and I, 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 I believe every word. I believe it, too. But you know what I want to say with this, in this situation? I... I know that everybody wants to get a good, a big break. Every artist wants their big break. But from the time Diddy hit the scene until today, why would you sign up to be an artist under Diddy? Diddy don't care nothing about nobody but Diddy. Diddy have artists over there that he's just holding hostage because he don't want you to put no music out because you're going to be his competition. So he's going to haul his competition back. And I felt the same way when uh, I think it was Big Boy who gave Janelle Monet over to Diddy. Because I knew that Diddy was just going to sit on her. Because Diddy done, done his music. And then when he first hit the scene, everybody said, when he's when he working with artists, why do we have to be in all their videos? It's all about Diddy. Diddy done came out with sunglasses. It's all about Diddy. Diddy done came out with a clothing line. It's all about Diddy. Diddy done came out with some cologne. It's all about Diddy. So when are people that want to get a big break in the music industry going to understand that Diddy don't care about nobody but Diddy and, and he is why, not in the, in the industry to help you? And this is why we don't have Biggie Smalls today. Diddy's about Diddy. Stop signing up under his label. Diddy don't care about nobody but Diddy. But oh. on, on the flip side with the Mason. So y'all not going to. Oh, well, I'm not touching that. Hold y'all on. not going to talk right. about. Well, why are you holding that sign up if you stand true in what you say? <laughs> <laughs> you think he has something to do with Biggie? We, can, <laughs> we can't find. We can't, we can't find the killer today. <laughs> Girl. Well, listen. I wasn't, you said yourself it's all about him. About him. It's all he show you. It's all about him all the time. All the stuff that all the stuff that I just named that did is doing sunglasses, cologne, shoes, clothes. How many artists he to put out there like that? Uh, it's just all about him. Man. Who? At least ten artists. But you know, but not not endorsed him like he done endorsed himself. Yes. Well, no. Right. So he once again, no, he put the no money behind. Him. Once again, the mystery to Biggie is solved. Well, since you put Big in, what about Tupac? Well, that was Suge Knight. Well, since you got all the answers, what about <laughs> <laughs> who killed Jesus? The fellas, the Jews. The Jews killed Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, you looking at me? I'm African. <laughs> <laughs> But look, but with Mace, though. Hold up, hold up. This nigga done rolled up on me like I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> that fly over there on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what you see, nigga, say, Craig? So Mace we got- out of time! <laughs> <laughs> so Mace got this, this this advance, of course, for his first album, which, which he only got about $20,000. $20,000. Right. But then when he his first album sold so many millions of records, he got a huge advance. For his second album, but he never really ended up putting out another album. That's when he went into ministry. So some people are saying, you don't get your publishing back because they never got to recoup that money that they advanced you for the second album because you never put out another album. They already got their money from the millions that they sold when they only gave him crumbs. But then what do they Q, mean? But then Q from 112, he said the same thing. He said he does believe that Diddy should yeah. release the publishing because he's been fighting for their publishing because Q wrote a lot of the, uh, the hits for 112. But he said that those contracts were standard back then. He, he doesn't believe that but they, but what they, what the whole thing about it is, is blacks keep blacks down. Well, what I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Blacks keep blacks down. <laughs> Pastor Troy is a black talking about a gay black. <laughs> uh, P. Diddy and, and Mace, that's a black and a black. You get what I'm saying? Nancy Pelosi and motherfucking Donald Trump, that's a black and a white. Wait a minute. <laughs> who, who the black? <laughs> 
Nance Pelosi, you playing? But I need I need Nance Pelosi to jump in the race next week. Her and Michelle Obama to run as Girl. teammate. Anyway, we're gonna move on from that stuff. Oh like, no! I need Nance Pelosi and Michelle. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna move on to that because Mason gonna have to worry about it. I see exactly what it is. I already told you we found out who what what big what happened with Biggie. Anyway. What we no, you just said <laughs> oh my she said that. <laughs> she said that. Because, you know, first time they see me, they're going to try to hit me in my face because they're going to try to take my beauty away. <laughs> yeah, well, girl, well, girl, she they said need, that. Well, if they try to take your beauty away, they need to hit you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my smart sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on from that because I done said enough. But we do know what happened. Anyway, <laughs> the impeachment process. Mm. I told y'all this back in the day. Y'all yeah, y'all was all it. up under my Instagram post talking shit about me because I said that that man was going to lose. But just because I'm saying that I feel, this is my feeling, that he's going to win again. You do feel you, that. You get, you get out there and you still vote. Do <clears throat> do whatever you can to, do you know, if you against him, if you fight. What? Against him. <laughs> against. One more time. If you what? If you against him, <laughs> get out there and vote against him. You feel me? I'm going out there and vote against the motherfucker. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna win me until I ain't got no arms and toes and fingers no more. I'm gonna be in that bitch fighting until I ain't got no arms. But I do feel like he gonna win again. Yes, I do. I don't think. I so. do feel like that impeachment process only boosted his, only boosted all of that shit up. No, it showed it showed him for who he really is. Although we already we knew. already knew who the lady was. But it's murder. just now that all the people getting ready to go out there. Murder, we knew who the lady he's was. He's a danger. All. Everybody see that he's a danger. Murder, he was he been dangerous. Yeah, but they see that he's a he's mafia. He's danger. Mafia. He's mafia. So we got to get him out. All right. Well, what? And I don't believe he's gonna win again. So this Billy Porter, what Billy Porter talking about? This, is the one you this was Billy Porter, his impeachment, his state of the... the things that he's done since he's been in office. Oh, go ahead. Let me see what Billy Porter had to say. I did send you this. I'm sorry. I'm Donald J. Out. Trump has painted himself as a friend of the LGBTQ community while revealing his true colors at every malicious turn. His malice has been demonstrated in banning transgender service members with a tweet as he did in July of 2017. Last May, he expanded the so-called conscience rule that would allow healthcare workers to discriminate against queer people. And he gutted protections for federally funded homeless shelters for trans people. And his disdain for our rights has been demonstrated up and down the federal benches he's packed with anti-LGBTQ judges whose influence will be felt long after Trump has left office. Girl, 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 and that was that. <laughs> did we that don't go, got to tell y'all about Trump. We don't got to tell you. Y'all already know. But what the did fuck that go was. viral? Did that video go viral? What? But but every time my sister step on the red carpet, her, it goes viral. But when she talking some some good shit for y'all, she trying to educate y'all. Get y'all to the polls. It don't go viral, right? And just like she was on that had that dress on at Sesame Street, them people went crazy about that. Once again, it was all the, it was a lot of the blacks. Somebody they don't want they cheering watching Sesame Street no more. Yeah, they always caring about the children, but it's just like with everything that Donald Trump did, he said bullshit in the White House the other day during the but press they ain't conference. About but they, they ain't worried about that. Right. He lied every day, all day, but they ain't worried about that. Right. And then uh, Susan Collins, she just got, I want them to get Susan Collins out of there too. Out of the Senate, because she's the main one. I think President Trump has learned his job. He is not going to be doing that anymore. Who's shaking up like that? Susan Collins. I think President (laughs) has learned his lesson. He's not going to do that anymore. <laughs> Girl, does she got Parkinson's? No, nah, that bitch just old. Well, listen, let me tell you something. Right here, <laughs> right here at the at the State of the Union address that Trump went on and 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 about on. Everything about but everything the but the union. thing, about the State of the Union. Nancy, Nancy, rip him up, Pelosi. <laughs> Nancy, what? Nancy, rip him up, rip him down, <laughs> Pelosi. <laughs> Went on and tore up his motherfucking speech. Yeah. We got the video footage of that. Go ahead. Let, let us see. Let we gonna talk over there. Rip it up, Nancy. <laughs> Rip it I'm up, so bitch. Sick of these lies. I'm sick of these lies. lies. You telling you, you motherfucker, you out of here telling all these lies. Then they had 
you, Nancy Pelosi, I don't care what nobody say. Nancy Pelosi is one of the smartest women alive. She already knew. She sat there during that whole State of the Union address while he was telling them lies. She done pre-read them lies, and she was sitting up there trying to see how can she do it? How can she upstate? How can she piss him off? How can she let him know that she is not agreeing with these lies? And she sat up there, and she ripped it up. And then everybody came back the next day talking about, how dare she rip, rip up the State of the Union address? She said, I didn't rip up the State of the Union address. I ripped up his state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, bitch. <laughs> the State of Union. We love that Nancy. Yes. With all of that stuff that's going on in my predictions in the crystal ball. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Shh. <laughs> Come. Come forth. Let out. Let it out. Come forth. Ah. In ah. the year 2020, <laughs> the orange one will win the election. However, he will not last. He will reach his doom in an unmarked <laughs> Girl, bitch, what happened? You have went in. What I said? You said the truth. <laughs> it just get in me sometimes. Yes. What it sounded like a man? No, it sounded like you. <laughs> Girl, sometimes I have the you know the rare ability yes. to predict the future. <laughs> oh, 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 come. Come forth, release, let it out. The one in the African wing. The what? Will not survive. You sure it's the one in the African wing or the one in the European half? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm getting. Come, come, let it out. The very soft man. From Howard University. <laughs> oh, it's about you. God, I didn't go to Howard. You should have. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we will fall on top of the man with the African <laughs> dashiki on and wait tonight, and there will be. Wait, I'm not done. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done. All right, girl. Ooh. Oh, shit. He's jumping out. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on to the Vegas fight. There was a girl. What happened down there in Vegas? God what damn happened it. in Vegas? Stay in Vegas. Well, obviously not. God damn it. What happened, girl? Girl, they done told Vegas down down here. Oh, girl. I don't know what's going on at Disney, but whatever went on at Disney, bitch, honey. They, they tried to go on vacation in Vegas, and they was saying, Minnie, Ma Minnie Mouse wasn't feeling none of that shit. Oh. Roll this footage right here. Oh. Hey, Minnie, bust that bitch in her mouth. Hey, <laughs> Minnie, bust that bitch in her mouth. Hey, say Minnie to the mouth. Hey, hey, say Minnie to the mouth. Hey, hey. I don't know what about you that I love, Minnie. Oh, I think Minnie got a black daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. You don't fuck out with Mickey. Ooh. She told that security guard, I caught you right there trying to put them hand bones down on, on Mickey's dick, bitch. <laughs> this belongs to me. She told that ass up. Yes, she did. It's, listen, I don't got really knew too much to say about it. This is like that's just like on site. I catch a hoe anywhere. Are you gonna get it? And whether I'm at work, bitch, or you at work, you gonna get it. <laughs> oh no, girl, you can't act like that. Yeah. I don't fight over men. Because I feel like this. What's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. I don't want nothing that's yours. I don't want nothing that looks at you. Because when you got your man. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it went down the wrong pipe. Girl, stop all that motherfucking coughing. I don't mind doing this show with you, but you're not going to be giving me no coronavirus. <laughs> that only now you cover your mouth when you cough. Yeah, y'all been out of town and traveling and shit. You and Gio, I saw y'all in Vegas. Uh -uh. 
Y'all just been traveling all around. Y'all know the coronavirus is everywhere. And y'all know, don't cover your mouth when you cough, girl. Craig, give me some liquor. I don't even drink. Give me some liquor. I got to kill this shit. Give me some liquor, Craig. Craig, what's that? I don't even drink, but I'm finna kill that shit. Uh-uh, she trying to talk. Give me, hmm, cover your damn mouth. You know better than that, Maddie. Don't pull you her You know Maddie taught you better than that. Don't do it. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, our next video is a stripper falls down. Where did stripper <laughs> fall down that crack? <laughs> Go oh. ahead. <laughs> the stripper came. Oh my God! She at the top, girl. Wait, what's going on? Hold on. Wait. She dance. Oh, you make my love. Damn! <laughs> oh, but that oh, bitch still dancing. Oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Girl, bitch. listen, we could have again. We could have again. Girl, girl, we could have put on that. We fall down, but we get up. God damn it! Let that motherfucker. The other one is on sink down there. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold on, bitch. Just went, bam! Girl, I know that hoe broke her toe bone or something. That bitch had continued to dance, though, bitch. She like, it's too many hoes trying to take my spot. Let me go. Let me go eat this one up. But I know one thing. When that bitch got to the dressing room, she called 1-800-411-PAIN. Oh, my God. Uh, let me Man. tell you something. <laughs> Listen here. Them <laughs> motherfucking strippers down there in Miami at the Super Bowl, we didn't get a chance to put this story on the... Uh, they didn't get a chance to keep none of their money. She a strip... Bitch, they didn't keep... How many? How many, How much money was it? They were supposed to get a thousand a piece. They didn't get their money. You didn't see all that money covering the flow down there? They didn't get it's it. A, man, didn't you, the security was snatching them holes. The lady was like, I, but I need this. I need it. <laughs> yes, she did. The security <laughs> snatched her ass up. <laughs> but I need it. And you Cardi, Car, your girl, Cardi B, went up there saying, oh, the scrippers were whack. <laughs> But I'm sorry, that bitch is not only a stripper, but from that fall, that bitch is a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it? You know what I got to add to that? What? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, <laughs> <laughs> but the okay, principalities. principalities, honey. Yeah, <laughs> bitch, she hit that floor. And that bitch got up and said, "What?" Bitch, <laughs> 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 I got it's too many holes waiting to dance. Honey. Not my spot. <laughs> not my Oh my god. She shook that off, honey. Yikes, bitch, yikes. Bitch, that bitch is like, I got kids to feed. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've we've come to the end of our show and you no, already know. Yeah. No, 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 right while we was having fun. We come to the end of our show, and at the end of our show, we do it all the time. Every one week. gotta go. One gotta go. And this week's oh. one gotta go is oh shit. Oh. Woo. Oh, girl, that's easy. Oh shit. Oh, that's easy, child. This baby, what would we do, baby, with our love? Oh, that, ain't no that ain't out there. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's the Winslows, the Jeffersons, James and Florida Evans, and the Cosby's. Damn. Well, which one got to go for you? Well, the for Cosby's me? already gone. Uh oh, -uh, they not go. They back. They back, honey. Felicia over there working for Tyler, and you know, be you know, Bill he over there working for the he working for the what? They, what? Mother Jefferson not up there. George, I don't think Weezy like me. <laughs> George, I don't think Weezy like me. Damn, 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 James. Uh huh. And then you got. You gotta let me know if you're gonna let me know. Well, for me, it's the, it's, the, it's the couple down there in the corner. The Winslow. The Winslow. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Winslow got to go. If it, I, all in favor of the Winslow's hauling ass. Yeah. Well, it's unanimous, child. And take them Cosby's with you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, child. I'm not, I'm not gonna let y'all do the Winslow's like that. Take the Winslow's the out one, and then. The one that has to go. Take the Cosby's with you. No, the one that has to go. The one that has to go. Ah, uh -huh. they took them down. They uh, did. Yeah, all of them gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they gone. Well, then, well, shit. Well, you know, we we definitely, obviously, we ain't got rid of of, of Weezy and 
And oh, Joe is damn fly in here, girl. Yeah, I got to get out of here. These damn flies, you coughing. <laughs> Shit, let me get well, up out obviously, of here. This is too much of a setup. <laughs> damn flies, and you coughing ain't coming your mouth. Let like I said, obviously, we ain't got go. rid of one the jacket. Go. You know which one got to go? I, I got to go. As you can see, I got to get out of here. My whole ass got that coronavirus to check. All ass these did. flies. Whole hey, ass floor in here. Got all these flies over here. What is going on, whole man? ass Florence. I ain't hollering nothing. You gonna get me up out of here like you got me in here. <laughs> Security! Oh, girl, he's sleep. <laughs> you know what Millie Jackson say? When you put it on them, they don't go to sleep. You ain't oh, you doing shit. Oh, you was fucking the security? Oh, that's what no, you I wasn't fucking security. What was you doing? I was a little, like, pleasing him. Oh. I stimulated him with my conversation. Well, you do know I have a secret to tell you. What? Him was her. <laughs> you... <laughs> Yes, ma'am. But what's the secret? <laughs> oh, your you... mama said believe half of what you hear and <laughs> none of what you see. I guess the lights was off, honey. Turn off the lights. Can light a candle. See, that's, this is what a unit will do. Let me see you do this. <laughs> this is what a unit will do. <laughs> I don't know about that. Weird, but this is what a unit will do. This is a unit. Come on, unit. You, 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 unit. <laughs> Let me see what your wig gonna do. What your wig gonna do. What your wig gonna do. Let me see what your wig gonna do. What your wig gonna do. You, 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 next. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, you need to go wash your wig because you done put your feet in it. <laughs> Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, before we get ready to get out of here, I have one last thing that I'd like to talk to you about. For everybody that's interested in taking a vacation with the Queen's Supreme Court, girl, you already know what it is, baby, July of 2020. We are going down to Riviera next month. Who is Come. we? Who is we? So, Phil, we're thinking about inviting you since we already have one pass. Girl, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh. Who? Bitch, she ain't gonna be there. <laughs> you think that whole gonna last till July? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, we just in Fit Baby. Uh, hey, one more. Fit Baby. <laughs> that bitch think she's talking about, I don't think I'm gonna be You ain't gonna be here. <laughs> so, to talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about booking your trip is our girl, Legra. Honey, she looks like uh, Yolanda. Don't start. Side B on what? Oh, my Legra. I'm gonna slide on my knees. She got on a unit. She got on a unit, baby. Me, yes. Prepare my heart and prepare my mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, you give it, you know what you actually giving me? I'm your baby tonight, Whitney. Whatever you know, that's what you're saying. Whatever you're saying. Come on, come on. I'm your baby tonight. Wait a minute. I was I was looking at the wrong unit. You got the pencil tonight. I got a heavy one. I'm on the pizza. 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 I'm on the all right, Allegra, so this is what we're going to do. We got, we, listen, we know yes. that y'all about to be hood rich in the next few months, yes, weeks, okay. or whatever, because income tax have rolled mm -hmm. in. Don't let that nigga spend your money. Don't let that nigga spend your money. Take that nigga on vacation with you. <laughs> nah, baby, we got to get us a car. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drive over there. Where y'all going? Riviera, Miami. We'll drive over there. Drive from Mexico? Yeah, bitch, we just got to get a car with some paddles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Legger, take us on out. Tell us what it is. <laughs> July 10th through July 14th or July 10th through July 15th. We are in the Riviera Maya, Mexico. And I'm telling you right now, you need to get your package as soon as possible. The resort is almost sold out. Yes. We are actually spreading out across all three resorts on the property. So some of us are going to be in the Grand Palladium White Sands the Katana, and the Colonial. Mm. We are selling out the entire resort, so I would advise you to get your package um, as soon as possible. Go to qscvacations.com. Qscvacations.com. <laughs> you can either get five days and four nights or six days and five nights. We got private parties planned. Of course, we're going to be doing the taping of the show. Yes, we, the Queen Supreme Court yes. live show. I mean, listen, if you guys did this with us last year, oh. you know we had a, a magnificent time yes. last year. This time she she's really oh, outdone we herself. Oh, we stepped it up so much. The pussies Ooh. have put shoes on it, and the pussies have been stepped up. <laughs> the yes. what? The pussies been stepped. You wouldn't know anything about pussy. Oh, that's but, right, because I don't have a pussy. I have a cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it's been a step up. We, uh, 
uh, uh, actually, I would like. I don't want. I don't want to toot my. Much. I don't want to toot my own horn. Yes. Yes. But B B bitch, B-B. we're double what we had. Absolutely. Oh, I'm year. definitely yes. going this year. You gotta come. We're double what we had last year. Yeah, they said we don't have any scares of any coronaviruses <laughs> because we won't be drinking coronas over there. We'll be drinking tequilas. Stop. And, you know, like last year we had that situation that was going on Dominican Republic and we yes. still had the people turn up. We still had like 100 and something people. Yes. We have 200 something people. Mm. Come on, y'all. Is this it- ain't no joke. This ain't no game. This is what it is. Now, Allegra, I'm going to do what I usually do. do I'm going to grill You're you. You're calling me. Hello, can I speak to Legra? <laughs> um, yeah, I was looking at T.S. Madison show. Yeah, T.C. T. Madison. <laughs> T. Madison. T. Madison. T. Madison. S. T. Madison. And um, I saw um, he had this. Uh, I mean, <laughs> she had. <laughs> she had this drag queen up there with her name was Sophia, and I was talking about this um. <laughs> this uh, last show in Mexico, how much is the ticket? <laughs> Packages start at nine ninety five. I'm sorry, nine ninety nine. However, oh, I'm supposed to be on your phone. Yeah, okay. how, how much is the ticket? <laughs> However, we have sold out every suite on the property. We now have a category called the deluxe room. It is not quite a suite. That package starts at nine eighty. Because we have sold out all of the nine ninety nine packages. No romance suites are available. No junior suites. You better hurry up and get your package. Oh, well, listen. If I put my money down, it's February now. I don't get my taxes until March. <laughs> well, you have plenty of time to pay for it. You can do, still do the $150 deposit. Oh, it's the $150 deposit? Yeah, it's still $150 can deposit. I, can I break it up into two payments, one Monday, then the next Monday? You sure can. Oh. <laughs> You sure oh. can. Just shoot me a message. We will definitely work with you. But you definitely still have to have it paid off by May 1st. So if I don't have it paid off by May 1st, what happened to all the money I don't already put in Everything it? is non-refundable and non-transferable. When you make your uh, reservation, you will be given the link for you to also to purchase travel insurance, which you can also get what's called a cancel for any reason policy as long as you purchase your insurance within 21 days of your deposit. Okay, so if I get the insurance, I'll be able to get all my money back if I had to cancel. If you are, if you have what's called a cancel for any reason policy. If you've already made your purchase and you haven't bought your insurance yet, you oh, can it's still get an insurance, but it will probably not be 100% covered. They have different levels of coverage. Oh, okay. Because, you know, my baby my baby been having strep throat real bad. But I want to go on this uh, trip because we, you know, I love gays. Gays is my... <laughs> Is there going to be any straight people there? We have straight, we have gay, we have young, we have old, we have black, we have white, we have Hispanics. We got a little bit of everybody. Any the niggas there? Yeah. There's <laughs> a niggas too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how much is it again? The package, that, uh, the available package that is left starts at 980 And then what's the, like... Man, I'm getting my text. I want to. I want to show out on my nigga. What's the biggest package that I can get? What do you call it? It is actually the only package available is the packages that start at nine eighty. That is for the deluxe room. All romance bungalows and all of the higher level suites are already um, sold out. Do I have to have my passport? Yes, you do. And I recommend that you start to get your passport now. This will be the heavy uh, season for applying for passports, so the delay is usually a little bit longer. Okay, um... Is the do resort I ha- close to the strip where you can sell cat? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm taking you up in the jungle. <laughs> I'm taking you up in the jungle. We're going to be up in the Riviera Maya. We're coming out of the city. Okay, because I ain't going to be over there with all that money and not make none. Y'all on a freeway? Okay. All right, so how, listen, I know I had dialed some number. How can I call you? What's the number if I need to call you back? If you need to call me, you can dial 470. Uh, wait a minute, 470. Uh-huh, 231. 231. 8121. Hold on, that's 8121. 1, 1. 470. Wait a minute, can you do 470. 231. 231. 8121. 8, 1. Okay. <laughs> you can also email me at info at global travelers LLC. Can you spell that G L O G L O B A L Global G L O B A L Travelers T R A V E L E R S L L C dot com. L L C 
Do they have honey buns over there? <laughs> Child, don't pay my ghetto sister no attention. She, 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 on, all, she on the other line. She on the, she always, she ain't going Do nowhere. Do they have honey buns? She ain't going nowhere. Go. Girl, her but, food stamps don't even come in this month. She ain't going nowhere. But we got to you July, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make first. You have to. Oh make wait, first. so I got wait. I so I can't pay it in July. I got to pay it in May. If you pay it in July, it's gonna be based off of availability, and it will have to be paid in full at that time. All right. Okay. Thank you, Miss Legra. Thank you. And tell TC Madison I love her. <laughs> I love TC Madison. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you, Legra. Bye. Legra. Hello, Miss Legra. No, I'm Miss Legra. Yes. Yeah, that nigga off the phone, girl. <laughs> girl, do they have Uber over there, girl? Because we're going to be getting out that resort, girl. They have Uber, girl. Well, every place that we have planned, uh, your transportation is also included. No, nah, bitch, I'm trying to sneak and do some things. Do they have Uber, girl? Do they have Uber? I don't no, need that old punk Bitch, I got my phone! I got my phone, bitch! I'll holler at you later. That nigga bad girl. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Allegra. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Miss Sophia tonight. We had a good time with Miss Sophia tonight, baby. Thank you, girl. I'm going to be back real soon, girl. Yes, I ain't going to stay are. gone this long. Uh, and before I go, I, I did want to send a special prayer up for, uh, there's someone on Instagram that sent me a message, uh, the real William Chantour. He says, hey, Maddie, can you please send up a powerful prayer request for my mom's health? Uh, she's in the hospital with kidney stones, and they are going to start a procedure on her tomorrow to take them out. It is a very risky surgery. So our prayers, we want to send our prayers up to you, William Chantour, from the Queen's Supreme Court. Yes. And, um, you know... And we thank you guys for tuning in. We love you so much. And we will see y'all next week. Thank you, Sophia. Thank Give you. Sophia a round of applause. <laughs> Sophia! Sophia Rowe! Girl, the new set, girl. Girl, it's nice. You've been putting that money to work, girl. Look at you. Investing back in the business. Girl, run the pro cards and cut this girl, whole microphone ahead, off. Go on, honey. <laughs> All right now, Maddie Bob, you already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But this year, we taking it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl. Guess. Huh? You couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pasta. Ha, 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 ha. That is Matthews will be my guest judge July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qscvacations.com. That's www.qscvacations.com. And honey, listen, don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. I love you. See you, Mexico girl. Come on here, pastor. Let's get down to business. This has been a T.S. Madison and R.D.E. Multimedia Group presentation.